say Las Vegas, and people often think of gambling and partying. It's a city that definitely comes to life at night. With this adventure, we decided to go off the beaten path to see some non-typical attractions. About 30 miles east of the Strip, we explore the Hoover Dam. Parking is $10, but it's free if you can manage to park a few lots over. As we work our way atop the dam, we notice a family defying gravity with water. The dam's upstream air current is so strong it plays tricks with your H2O. So naturally, I wanted to try. The water level in Lake Mead has been declining ever since 1983. You can see a clear bathtub ring around the canyon from its heyday. The Hoover Dam also serves as the crossing point between Nevada and Arizona. The Hoover Dam was built for three reasons. To create a reservoir, to generate electricity, and to host a recreation area. It supplies electricity for mainly California but also Nevada and Arizona. So we're on our way back to the car right now. We're about to leave and we just stumbled upon this really cool sign. We're looking at this one and this one a lot. This is what's right behind the sign. Right now it is empty. And then the second picture that's here, they kind of have it right here also, but these are the same thing as what's over here. And you can see how low the water is compared to what it was, I guess. This says in 1983. So just a little safety PSA, it's pretty hot out here. It's probably about 101. There are signs all over the place saying, do not leave your dog in the car. So drink plenty of water. Right before leaving the Hoover Dam area, we take an overview shot of Lake Mead's National Recreational Area. Driving into the city is an attraction in itself. Vegas is a never-ending sea of construction as improvements and hotels are always in the works. And now we visit Tacos El Gordo. This late night spot has the best Mexican food on the Las Vegas Strip. There's a separate line for each type of meat, but on this trip we had to try some al pastor. 
It's a marinated pork meat that's grilled on a shawarma spit. You can ask for your choice of meat not only in a taco, but in a sope or a mula. Now let's check out that nightlife on the strip. Many say Las Vegas is the Disneyland for adults. Speaking of Disneyland, did you know that Disney legend Bob Gurr, one of Disney's top Imagineers, designed the ship in front of Treasure Island? Buccaneer Bay once hosted a nighttime pirate battle for all to see along the strip. Does anyone else see this mirage? Well, I do. It explodes at night. No, literally. A few times a night, the volcano erupts and has tourists stop in their tracks. You can really feel the heat from the fire, so make sure your cameras don't melt. And you can't miss the fountains at the Bellagio. Shows change hourly. One of our favorite places to visit is the Cosmopolitan. It's home to the world's largest chandelier. It consists of over 2 million beads. Don't forget to check out part two, like this video, and subscribe for more adventures.